let's talk about this why now formula. Let's give you some leverage over the fear, the doubt, the uncertainty, all the things that try to hold us back. Let's create some powerful leverage that moves us forward. Step number one is your why must be bigger than your fear. In other words, what you're in love with, this image, the reason that you would go after this must be bigger than the fear of all the reasons why the paradigm or limiting belief tries to tell you you can't have it or it's not gonna work. So this brings us to step number two, which is your now must be bigger than your weight. In other words, there must be urgency it can't just be that I would love this because how, how many of us have gotten in love with an idea then we just kept putting it off. Like I'm going to do that someday. I love to be an author. I'm going to love to write a book one day and five years go by, 10 years go by, 20 years go by and they never write the book, right? It's why is why now your now, your reason for now must be bigger than your weight. And so here's one way to help that happen. When the pain of the current circumstance becomes greater than the perceived pain of change, someone will change. This is one of life's laws. When someone's in enough pain, when the pain of the current circumstance is greater than the perceived pain of change, people will change. Let me give you a very tangible example of this. The dentist. How many people put the dentist off because they're waiting? They know they need a filling, but they don't want to go because it's going to be painful to get the filling. When do they finally go? When their toothache is finally bad enough that the filling is going to be less than the tooth <laughs> than what they're experiencing right now, right? This is a very practical example of this. But the same thing works in a career. Same thing works going after a book. Same thing works when we're going after something that we would love. But most people numb out. The clients you're working with, most people numb out. They ignore the pain of the current circumstance. They distract. Right? They get sucked into Netflix and they watch, they binge Netflix. They go to alcohol, they go to drugs, right? They'll numb out the pain of their current circumstance just to cope with what it is so they don't actually have to face the pain of change. But what we're looking to do is create urgency. If you want to make a real empowered decision, there's got to be urgency. Michael, Dr. Reverend Michael Beckwith puts it this way. We just talked about a vision for what you would love, but the starting point is often we are pushed by pain until we're pulled by a vision. My encouragement is give yourself permission to let this be a day where everything changes for you. This can be your day where everything changes.